them from their land and take their resources and take their culture. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to turn to immorality, man. That's any country. That's any people, man. You see? And above all, it's not because the Esau is really the most high. That's right. Who put curses on the nation. But we broke that, man. What you got? Um, Matthew 16. 16. Or 15. Oh, it was 20. It's It was Matthew something one. Um, I can't remember what I said. It was just a spirit was just flowing. But we'll, we'll get back to it. Oh, yeah, Matthew 16, 26. Come on, come on. The outside said. Now, why do y'all about to know? Shut up. Come on. Matthew 16 and 26. Come on. But what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Con A, Jay Z, LeBron. All these niggas, man. They got the fame, they got the attention, they got everything that a man would want. But it came at a price, man. That's to lose their soul, man. Okay? They had to give something in exchange for the fame and fortune. They right. had to sacrifice their mom, they got popped in their ass, locked from a language. Right. You know, they had to do something, sacrifice their homeboys like YNW Melly. Right. And he literally made a video for how he sacrificed his friend. Because it was a lyric, he literally said, um, his friend died in his arms. His friend was saying, like, he was scared to die. 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 Because she was in on it, man. And where did her career go? Absolutely nowhere, man. She got a little Oscar, whatever the case is, and that's it. A little commercials here and there. She owed your whole career for that. But that's what Yahweh said. That's what he said. Matthew 16 and 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Uh huh. But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What can you give in exchange for your soul? And that's what the celebrities are making you jakes do. They're making you sell your soul. Man. Because what's an Israelite natural state? Righteousness, man. Even during the time of Joshua, they were attacking us from the back. The Most High sent a war with Amalek from generation to generation. So I think the Most High rose up Saul, but he didn't get the job done. But King David did, man. The Edomites were scared of King David, boy. They flew down into Egypt, man. Guess what? The Most High raising up the house of David again. In fact, that's what Psalms 122. He had verse one. People looking at us like got young men out here preaching the Bible in the cold. This is our life. They said that? No, as you can tell based on their looks, I'm saying. Uh, uh, uh. This is our life, man. Okay, what's it what's in this world of darkness, man? Okay? It's a folly of madness. That's folly of madness, man. Folly is setting great dignity, man. Right. Psalm 122 verse 1. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of Yahweh Shah. 
Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built it as a city that is compacted together. That is compacted together, Slacker. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of Yahweh Shemiah Shah unto the testimony of Israel to give thanks unto the name of Yahweh Shemiah Shah. Right. For there are set thrones and judgment. The thrones of the house of David. The thrones of the house of David, man. Out of Jerusalem, man. That's right. You see? And we don't execute one judgment. One for the whole thing. Uh, that's what I'm saying. We can always see that number, man. So, don't tell it, man. Who else? We gotta be the guys who are willing, man. Because who else out here blowing the trumpet, warning Jake, praising Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah, man? There's only a handful of men that's doing that, man. Alright? Last night was the uh, Tony Rose Cat. it up again. Cut. Right. Neither is there any for his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles. That's what you're doing right now. That's right. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Confess your Hab Hashem Yahushua before the heathen, man. Go ahead. Ye children of Israel. Ye children of Israel. Go ahead. For he has scattered us among them. He has scattered us among them. So there you go. That's another thing you're fighting for. So those Gentiles that they're being grafted back in on the scattered Israelites. That's right. Uh, go ahead. There declare his greatness. There declare his greatness, man. Go ahead. And we're doing that right here in Babylon. And extol him before all the living. Praise him before all the living. That's what we're doing. Who's doing that? Suddenly the apostles and elders went out. Brothers that go to the chief place of God, of course. I'm pushing the word. That's praising him before the Gentiles. You're praising him before the heathen, man. Right. Okay? You're making yourself look like a fool for your hours try to say, man. That's praising the most high, man. Go ahead. For he is our Lord. He is our Lord. Who the Israelites. That's right. Go ahead. And he is our power. Sorry. And he is the power of our Father forever. Forever. So the most high is only dealing with one group of people. Israelites. Go ahead. And he will scourge us for our iniquities. And he did scourge us. The main scourge was captivity. You got the rest of the um, curses in Deuteronomy 28. Man. You see? But now, like the scripture says, he shall have um, pardon as well. He's having mercy. So the first part of the mercy is you're receiving your, your identity. And you know who he is, man. Knowing his actual name, man. Then you know his secrets. That's in the book. There's right. billions of people on the planet Earth. And billions of people don't even understand the Bible. Man. They can't even break down John 3.16. Man. Okay? They can't tell you who Yahweh is. Only Yahweh Shai is. Man. Or all the other mysteries and breakdowns that's in the book. Go ahead. Just like I did that video on James White. And um, uh, this other character... Uh, the guy just slipped my mind, the other black scholar. Him and James White. Um, Eric Mason. Him and James, they go back and forth. Because James White said that these black churches, uh, 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 theologically, 
but he said unsound right and he said the reason why he said that is because he debated the black Hebrew Israelites so he's saying that the reason why people left these churches black churches and become Israelites is because these black churches don't know what the hell they're talking about yes he's right about that and guess what you don't know what the hell you're talking about because you're an Edomite man and you were sent man no Christian doctrine is unsound all right, it's not biblical, man. That's right. Go ahead. And we'll have mercy again. And that's the time we in now. Okay, like we said, when you receive this truth, this gift, that was a part of his mercy. Uh, you see, when you receive that seal on your forehead, all will of your father your mother. That means you're not going to take part in the judgments, man. What verse you want? Verse five. Yeah, yeah you can read verse five to six. Yeah. Gun. And will gather us out of all nations. There you go, man. The Gentiles, man. The Israelite foreigners, man. See? So that's another. That's the apocalypse. Man. So you know, that's another thing, guys. Still stumbling on the Gentiles, man. It's clear as day, man. All right. It's clear as day. With Revelation the seventh chapter, who that great multitude is, is the Israelites that are scattered. Among whom he has scattered us. They got to understand that, man. Well, that's just, that's just, that's just, that's just, verse 3, literally said, confess, and before the Gentiles, he's going to be able to visit Israelites. There you go. And then it said he's scattered us, but he's gathered us again. So we scattered the rest of So Cornelius was an Israelite. He made Ethiopian union for the Israelite. Okay. Job was an Israelite. That's just nice. Acts the second chapter, those are Israelites. Uh, Revelation 7, the great multitude is Israelites, man. We're reading it, man. Verse 6. If ye turn to him, he will be whole heart. He will be whole mind. And still unrighteously before him, then will he turn to you. He will not hide his face from you. Turn, turn. And then, before, when you about to hide his face from you. Matter of fact, it's Ecclesiastes 18.24. Because what's the face of the Most High? You can be asking my hand. The wisdom now is in this book. Because Yahweh Shai said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. How you see Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai is known as the Word of the Most High. If you understand the Word, you see Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's also known as the Comfort. Okay? You've seen Yahweh Shai by default. You've seen the flaw. But where it says Sirach 1824? Ecclesiastes 18 and 24. There you go, man. So, all sides will turn away his face. What's what that's talking about? 1824? Verse 25. When thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger. And when thou art rich, think upon poverty and need. From the morning until the evening, the time is changed, and all things are soon done before the Lord. Cut, cut. And that's a, yeah, you know, that's going to something else, but that's the truth, though, man. That's right. Because uh, right now, that's what the Lord said. Uh, uh, is it Luke the sixth chapter? He said, uh, Luke chapter six, verse twenty-five. He said, "Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger, man. Right. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep, man." So right now, you people, full, they worrying about that wicked ass thanks steal holiday that's about to come up, about to get gluttonous and talk S H I T on the table. You know what I mean? Get around hypocrite uh, family members, but you only see once a year. I mean, it's talking nonsense, man. That's the holiday that celebrates nothing but death and murder, man. Okay, that was a sacrifice, man. They uh, slaughtered 700 Gadites. Okay? Broke bread with them and they killed them, man. That is the devil. That's what the scripture says. Never.
never trust thine enemies, man. For like an iron rusteth, so is its wickedness, man. You said, though he humble himself, take heed of him, man. Okay? But the scripture does say, that is the truth. Let's get that real quick. It's in Genesis 49. So he shall hope at the last. Bring it with my face again. Yeah, that great persecution, man. Great. Matter of fact, what scripture you got? It's Genesis 49. Oh, yeah, we can read that, and then we're going to read Acts 18, because that happened back then. So Genesis 49 and verse 19, God, a troop to overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. So God going to overcome at the last, man. That's right. So you got a lot of brothers who are Gadites too, man. Who, a lot of brothers who, they, quote, unquote, look like Judah, but they tell you now I'm Gad. Profiles of Native Americans. See? And the brother talk about the great persecution. I think it's was Acts 18. Acts 18 and what? Alright. You hear this? The book of Acts, chapter 18, verse 1. After these things called the pardon from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Pula, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy. So you had Jews born in Italy. the Romans. What we doing right here, right now? Right? When you read about that, the ancient Christians, the reason why they were there in the arena is because they were doing what we were doing. Prophesying. First time the Romans. Man. Because Rome had all different kind of religions. So why did they specifically hate the Jews? They were rebuking them, man. They were rebuking them, man. level 
time. Knows who you are, man. So that first wave of the new world comes out. Yeah, first. Oh shit. It's still going down. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Alright. Yeah. They be like mad. Spare and none. Spare and none. First thing, what?